D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'll be reviewing, talking about my first impressions with this here recovery unit and this recovery tank, courtesy of Viver. But as always, before we get into the video, I want you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon so I can upload videos like these, you get them right away. All right, guys? So, full disclosure, I did not purchase these tools with my own money. All right? These were sent to me, courtesy of Viver. The shout out to Eva, E-V-A. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correct. But Eva has reached out to me, asking me if I would be interested in reviewing these tools. And I said, sure. So let's go. So first, I'm going to start off with the recovery tank. And first impression, I'm loving the color. The color on the size, I'm giving this a thumbs up because for me, guys, I'm typically not recovering large amounts of refrigerants, right? So with this little tank right here, it's be perfect for me, all right? Perfect. Love the size and the color. Tell me what you comment, what you guys think about the color. This is pretty cool. So what comes in the box? What comes in the box? You have the tank right here, all right? You can see that. And then you have some manuals and you have these adapters right here. Um, this is... 516 if I'm not mistaken. I think this 516. Same size that you would use on your mini splits, Fujutsu, LG, Mitsubishi, whatever. And these are your same adapter size right here. And then this right here is your standard gauge hose sizes, which I think is that's a quarter inch. Comment in the comment section, you pros. So that goes on here. I guess if you want to like use a larger hose for recovery and increase the volume that goes in and out of the tank. You can you can with these adapt you can with these adapters, but I'm sure I'll be finding other use for these. All right, um, yeah. So and if you're wondering why this scale is here, this is not a part of the review. It's just to weigh this tank, and I'm also going to weigh the, the typical re recovery tank that I usually use, and do a comparison in size. Hence the reason why I love this already because of the size and obviously the color. And the build quality looks, it looks, it looks, it looks good. I mean, I mean, I, I can't knock it, it looks good. All right. So yeah, I mean, I, I can't knock it, guys, you know. The build quality looks pretty good. You know, I don't know about the longevity or the durability of these, these tools right here, but this is just a first impression video. I will be taking them for a test and you best be sure when I'm doing that, I'll do another video. All right, so this is just a first impression video. You know, this is this is real world, real time, real age VAC. Oh, wait, this is not zeroed. Can I zero this? Let me get the exact weight of this tank. Empty. So here we go. So that's 14 pounds, 9.25 ounces. That's the weight. Okay. This tank does have a built-in relief, pressure relief right here. And I believe that the working pressure, it says it here, that's 400 PSI. And I think this is the maximum it will hold before it pops. Or maybe it's between this and this. This couldn't be it because 410A will probably get up to here. Maybe if, if you leave it in the sun, I guess it will probably go past 400. But Vever, if you watch it, comment. Comment in the This is your product. I'm just a user. Comment in the comment, comment section. So it says here um, it's 13.6 liters or 30 pounds. I guess that's the that's the volume which this thing can hold. Again, once again, Vever, if you're watching, comment. Um, so 30 pounds of refrigerant you can put in this tank. Um, yeah. All right. So yeah, like I said, it's, the quality looks pretty good. It did come from the factory pre-charge. with nitrogen nitrogen so yeah 
the board was set up. I don't know. Again, this, uh, Fever, you can comment again on this one here. You know, what's the function or the design function of this part? This ball valve right here, attachment. Because I've never seen that in a tank. So, comment. All right, let's compare this to a regular tank, which I usually use. So, you can see right there, size and weight. Okay. Huge, huge difference. So, this is going to be a space saver for me, who's only recovering typically anywhere from 10 ounces to 20 pounds on a regular. This is going to be perfect for me. All right, this is for the larger jobs. Um, those are special occasions, but this is going to be my go-to tank because of the size and all of that. Okay, so that's it. Let's move on to the recovery unit. And if you're interested in this tool, you want to check it out some more. I want to leave links to this and this in the video description. So just check down there, you'll see it. All right. Be advised that these are affiliate links, all right, for Amazon, Amazon.com. Okay, so you can find these there. I believe that Viver has of they have a website as well of their own. Um, but I'll be leaving links to these in my in the video description. Check them out. All right. Um, let's look at the recovery unit. So we have the recovery unit. Here's the box, as you can see. All right, um, here's what comes in the box. There's a manual. You got you got the a filter dryer. You got a uh, a adapter or an adapter that goes if you're going to use a filter dryer. This adapter goes uh, in between the unit right here. You screw this on right here, like so, and then you will screw. The filter dryer with this side one hand and then your gauge hose will go on the other side of the other side of the filter dryer and the filter dryer is a there's an arrow on there should be pointing towards the unit when you're setting it up like so all right then you have the the wire this is a standard 115 120 volts power card and then you have some extra screen and a rubber gasket the screen our filter as a pre-screen it goes back here on the inlet you can see that so when it says here replace uh, please clean filter screen after each machine use okay so there's the rubber uh, rubber gasket here's that filter screen you have an extra one there Okay, now, first impressions here, guys, this pump is a standard, I would say, old school style pump um, or, or recovery unit. Um, you know, nowadays there is more modern type. Uh, build quality looks all right. Looks all right. Okay. A little diagram right there actually tells you how to set up the filter dryer. All right, you can see that. Okay. There you go. Um, there's the back of it. There's a fan. There's the electrical connector outlet. Where you put your hose. I mean, your wire. Or your power card. The blades in the fan looks like it's plastic. All right. You have a uh, a system pressure gauge. This will be the read the pressures in the system. The temperature pressure chart is for R32, which I don't I will not be using. It goes from minus 30 inches of vacuum or 30 inches of vacuum to 500 psi, which is Typical 410A pressure, which is the highest ref pressure refrigerant I think is out there in the industry. I don't know. Comment in the comment section if you know something that's higher than that. And you can see the high side, which is going to be the tank, the tank pressure while you're recovering um, or discharge between pump and tank. It goes from 0 to 800. So you have, um, this is a control knob that... 
you select how fast you want to recover this is fast I guess you can turn it down as you turn it down slowly but surely you get down to this lowest point and you can go even lower than that and you go like throttle it even lower until you get to off in the bottom there now in my experience when I'm recovering um, liquids um, if I have the pump turned up uh, recovery unit turned up it will the pump will stutter a little bit because it's handling too much liquid it will stutter I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna handle it I'll try it out and I'll do another I'll do a video in the field while I'm using these Again, this is this video is just a first impression and because this is real world real HVC simplified I'll be first time I'm using this best be sure there's gonna be another video all right here is the refrigerants you can use with this all right um, R14A, 407B, 4, uh, 407C, 12, 134, 22. These are the popular ones that I usually be involved with, but there they are. Outlet, inlet, what else? With the cages, this is your on and off switch. And I'm assuming this, this is illuminated once it's on. Here's a circuit breaker if the pressure goes too high. Or this unit shows high hump, it will trip, it's 15, it's 15 amps. And you have to wait, it says you have to wait five minutes before you reset it. Um, features, all this compressor, one cooperation, blah, 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 blah. You can read it right there. And yeah, that's it. Again, um, if you want to find these tools, guys, again, I'm going to leave links to these in the video description. Once again, there's there are affiliate links to Amazon or Amazon.com. Go and look at them further at your own discretion at your own will you're not you're not pressured you're not pressured to buy these you can just go check them out and um, get some more information on them that's it so now i'm gonna close this video off if you like it thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed i'm out